In the first episode, Yasha Hime. Princess Half Demon, Inuyasha and Kagama were a married couple, but over the course of the original Inuyasha anime, their romance faced many obstacles. Let's take a look at how throughout the series their relationship developed, which eventually resulted in the birth of their daughter, Maroha. A centipede demon drags Kagama Higurashi, a modern-day high school student, down into the Bone Eater's well and travels back to the Sengoku period in time. Kagama is attacked by the centipede demon because she owns the Shikin Jewel, which can grant any wish to its holder. Kagama releases Inuyasha from the sacred tree he was pinned against by the sacred arrow of Kikyo in order to stop the centipede demon. Inuyasha kills the demon and attempts to steal from Kagama the Shikin Jewel, but is subdued by subjugation's beads. Inuyasha and Kagama argue often, but they've got great chemistry. Their companionship develops into a romance as they continue traveling together. Inuyasha cries and curses himself in episode 107, Inuyasha shows his tears for the first time because he thought he was late in saving Kagama and the others from Mukatsu's poison. His tears indicate how important Kagama is to him, something he seldom demonstrates. In episode 126, Transform Heartache into Courage, Akago, the incarnation of Naraku, takes hold of the darkness within the heart of Kagama. The darkness? Her jealousy over the relationship with Kikyo and Inuyasha. Kagama finally acknowledges that she sees Inuyasha as a man, realizing her jealousy is because of love. Inuyasha was in a relationship with the priestess, Kikyo, before meeting Kagama. Inuyasha wanted to use the Shikin Jewel to become a full-fledged demon in the flashback episodes 147 and 148, The Tragic Love Song of Destiny, Part 1 and 2. He conspired to steal Kikyo's Shikin Jewel, which backfired when Inuyasha fell in love with her. In order to turn Inuyasha into a full human, they decided to use the Shikin Jewel selfishly. However, an unfortunate fate was suffered by Inuyasha and Kikyo's love. Onigumo, a bandit who was also in love with Kikyo, fed the demons with his soul and became Naraku. By impersonating Inuyasha to steal the jewel, Naraku spoiled Inuyasha and Kikyo's plans, pitting Inuyasha and Kikyo against one another. Inuyasha was sealed to the sacred tree, and Kikyo died alongside the Shikin jewel by having her body burned. Kikyo holds a grudge against Inuyasha, even in death, for betraying her 50 years ago. Through Yurisu, Kikyo is resurrected and vows revenge against Inuyasha, but later realizes that it was the fault of Naraku. In episode 47, Inuyasha promises Kikyo that he will kill Naraku, Onigumo's heart still beats within Naraku, and they both vow that while embracing, their lives belong to each other. Kagama is witnessing this intimate moment and feels hurt because she knows she cannot be the woman who satisfies the heart of Inuyasha. Even so, because she is in love with him, Kagama stays alongside Inuyasha. As Inuyasha's feelings waver between Kikyo and Kagama, the love triangle grows more complex. Inuyasha's feelings for Kikyo make Kagama jealous, but Kagama is still willing to save Kikyo's life for Inuyasha's sake, despite these insecurities. They share an unforgettable romantic relationship that Kagama must accept, even though Inuyasha has no future with Kikyo. Kikyo dies for a second and final time in episode 175, Among the Twinkling Stars. Inuyasha says his last goodbye, saying she's the first person he's ever loved and cared for, and they share one last kiss. For Inuyasha and Kikyo, the final goodbye provides closure so that they can look at their past love as something special instead of tragic. The wolf demon Koga also creates a love triangle, although Kikyo causes the most relationship strife between Inuyasha and Kagama. In episode 36, Kagam kidnapped by Koga, the wolf demon. Koga abducts Kagama and eventually falls in love with her, planning to make her his wife. Inuyasha is infuriated by Koga's declaration of love towards Kagama. Inuyasha displays his jealousy of Koga throughout the series by starting irrational arguments with Kagama. Koga's love for Kagama is unrequited, however. Ultimately, in Inuyasha's fight against Naraku, Koga becomes a valuable ally. Kagama wishes for the Shikin Jewel to vanish forever in episode 193, Toward Tomorrow. Kagama returns to the modern era, and the Well of the Bone Eater, which linked the two worlds, has stopped working. Inuyasha waits at the Bone Eater's well persistently, hoping that Kagama will return again. Kagama wishes to see Inuyasha one day, and the well opens up miraculously. Inuyasha acknowledges the scent of Kagama and rushes to her. He looks into the well and holds Kagama's hand out for him to grab. The two are reunited and now live as a married couple, where Kagama works as a priestess, and with Moroku, Inuyasha fights demons. 
There are still times, however, where Inuyasha and Kagame get into disagreements. Since Inuyasha him is episode 1, Inuyasha reluctantly does not tell Kagame that the root head demon was once sealed by Kikyo. Kagame is somewhat disappointed that she still holds secrets from Inuyasha, but she reminds Inuyasha that he no longer needs to hide anything. They may still have trivial fights, but the two are now able to communicate freely and continue to be a great duo in battle, indicating to viewers that the relationship is as strong as ever. Inuyasha and Kagame have grown as a couple, 